Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulke, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with <clears throat> cheer, one and all! Today is a day <clears throat> of celebration! Our young... Ticket gone. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark Dyke defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... 
I don't know what that means. Look, this is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he's loved and cherished, where he's meant to be. You are kind, but your eyes are clouded by the past, a place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Who could Gothban be? One of us? Good day, Eivor. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Evo? A moment. Something forged? Good day. Is Gunnar about, or did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gunnar is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunnar away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Well, if Gunnar has faith in you, I do too. Then I say you have fine taste. Have a look at what I've got. What have you got for me today? Will that be all? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. So long.
this is true. Hello. Men. Life in the rough, in the company of... Fr you may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull to come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You are talking with him now, and you are? Ah, oh, by God's blood! My day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the room. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up.
do you see, Simon? Humboldt's back, drinking and jabbering as always. So this is Humboldt's safe haven. And lose some there will be a mercy in Shire today. Tomorrow, the Kingdom of Lindsay will... Humboldt, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Humboldt. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Humboldt, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln. Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Let's not break our bones without some alcohol to dull the coming pain. Alewife, for these stout Saxons, around on me. Well, that's, uh, uh, that's kind of you. Unexpected, like. Cheers to this day, one who knows the true worth of silver. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written-about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. Told Humboldt to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Oh, 
I can out drink it up. Are you all this in trouble? They call this pasty. Leave him be! Jesus! He's brought a bloody Dane! Ruins within an inch of my life, but I will survive. I must continue as you would, Avon. I should ignore. I live. I am alive. Heaven have mercy. Are you hurt? Unbelievable. The Battle of Buttlestone will be remembered for years to come. Alfgar. We have won our first great victory. Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look! Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse! Okay, mercy and... Rode me blindfolded to the river. Start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Need to cloak myself here. Mercian guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat.
place I once called home looks so alien to me now. So harsh and unwanted. This town was your home? It was and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside. Oh, how can a place I have like that alien or silver to buy so from those to bandit now. smugglers? So Save harsh and everything. unwanting. I shall make you mine again. Reagan hair, body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him. For fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan Hare? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does he? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits and all manner. We never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servant... Archer! Herevry! Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned! My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwar, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the North. 
bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin... I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. You the head sister? Please, don't hurt me. These poor souls need me. Calm, sister. Lord Hunwald sent me. He asked me to speak with the people here. Hunwald? That's not a name I expected to hear again. No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care.
It weren't wise to let those Mercians nobles use our tunnels, if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us be. They killed one of them. These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult.
fighting here? About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. Bandits didn't fare so well. Noble's cloak, the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate past in this way.
this key. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. This place is heavily guarded.
back here and face me! <laughs> Need your eyes, my friend. the right track. That keep is well protected. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too rough. We can hunt at the ends of Lindsay and all the plot of stuff. Should have run, rabbit! Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often they sound like my dear Lord. Can I ask a favor of him, on behalf of his son, Unbold? You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Unbold deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance, and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret, until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunbol will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest, the house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. 
hidden in a switch as where we make the fallen beast. What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiov's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... he... <laughs> Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! Keep steady, Humboldt. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of... dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title is not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a Shiremoot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your Shiremoot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We have a similar custom, what we call an Aldhing, an assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. 
Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands. With kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes. Quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hundiolf's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do.